<laughs> hey there, welcome back guys. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to get a thumbnail or image preview on your Ender 3 S1 Pro. So you have a file, uh, you saved it, and you did the firmware update, but you can't see the image preview. Anyway, this video we're going to show you how to do that, and it's as easy as one, two, three. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, I'll leave a link to these files in the description so that you guys can follow along with this or use your own. All right, so moving forward, when you're at this website, the Community Ultimaker, um, you want to go all the way down to the bottom, and you want to be right here on February 7th. See that? And then you're going to press there, download the file, and you see it says Create Ender 3 S1 Pro Thumbnail. Okay? And that's what you want. Mine will probably be on my desktop. And now you close that out, and now what you're going to do is you're going to open up the Ultimaker Cura. See that? We're here. And then what you're going to do is don't open anything. Actually, for us, let's try this for the sake of the video. I'm going to go here, open files from disk. Uh, it'll take me to my thumbnails. I'm going to go here to the uh, rods, fishing rods. See, there they go. You can also look at it from the bird's eye view or from that view or from that view. So I'm just going to leave it as is. And I'm then just going to slice it. Okay. And save to disk. And we're going to call it rods. Okay. And as you can see, it's there. All right, so now what you're going to do is, now we're going to get into the nitty gritty. We're going to go here into the help, see help, and then show configuration folder. Don't be intimidated by the folders. It might seem overwhelming, but just go straight to the scripts. See the scripts folder? Um, I'll just do this really quick and put in a yellow so you can see it in case you're wondering. See right there, see the yellow dot? All right, so then you open it. It's empty. You see that? So then what we're going to do is, for me, my file is actually saved to my desktop. And it should be, ah, there it is. See? Create Ender 3 S1 Pro. Voila. It's in there. Now I'm just going to close the scripts folder. Go back into Cura. Okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to quit Cura so that it can find it. Now restart Cura again. Okay? Ultimaker, Cura. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go see you in preferences at the top, right? Not here, but here. So right next to preferences, extensions, and then go down, post processing, and then we're going to go modify G code. So it's empty. There's nothing there. So now we're going to add a script. Remember, we just put something in the script folder, add script, and it should be right there. See the script right there? Create Ender 3 S1 Pro thumbnail. I just selected it. And now we close it, okay? And then we're just gonna quit the application again. And then after we quit it, we will start Cura one more time and we should be good to go. Um, 5.6.0, so now we can bring in another file, right? And then we're gonna go open from disk, whatever file you want. I'm gonna call this one the ball, ball and cube, just leave it as is, see, like that. And then I'm going to slice it um, three hours to make. Hopefully it will make it. Save to disk. It'll save to the desktop. We're just going to call it ball in cube. Okay. And that's it for that. So now we're going to open up another application. So if you're using the Creality print, you don't have to do anything. You just need to update your firmware. So if I go here and go to um, open file, right? And if I go to the desktop and if I click on my uh, thumbnails folder, right? So we'll click here on this little rod thingy and um, open it. There it is. Uh, you know, things just look um, like that, the way they look. And so then I'm going to um, slice it and uh, export to local. Um, and then we're just going to call this Biggery, right? And then save it to the desktop. So as you can see, it's a little bit glitchy. I don't use this uh, slicer. I did it in the beginning, but uh, it doesn't work so well for me, for me and my needs. Okay, uh, what that is, I do not know. All right, uh, and now I'll just quit it. And then, wait, I'm not gonna save the project. I'm just going to exit. So now we have three items. We have one, right? We have two. And we have three. Now we're going to go to the printer because we need the, we'll just push this back since we're not going to be printing. I need the SD card. 
okay so this is it over here and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert it into the computer and make sure it's formatted correctly I'll leave a link in the video description in case you need to format your um, your drive here it is right here our sand disk which will go in I'll just move this out of the way um, in here and get rid of that up oh, and there's our disk right there see that the no name okay and um, what we'll do is we will remember uh, you know what if we can just empty all these throw these out you can always uh, put these back later since whenever you buy files from the, the uh, STL files they're always in the library in the cloud or on your camera so here we go right here no name has nothing in it it only has three on there um, see, I remember always eject it. If you pull it out, you won't see the items load onto the printer. Eject it. Okay, and now we're just going to go back to our camera. And voila. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the printer. All right, so we're back in here. All right, so here we are. Back at the printer. Oh, actually, uh, did I eject it? Remember, if you don't eject, you will not. Yes, I did see them you just if that happens you just put it back in to the um computer where's our camera there Alrighty. so we are here i'm gonna go up oh, forgot it goes in like that upside down and then once we put it in we go here to the screen sometimes you'll see another file there why it does that i don't know but um remember we did rods first right so nothing you just get a little man with a cape right and then we did um, ball in a cube inside Kira hmm. let's see maybe that is really strange maybe we got to shut the printer off Actually, before we shut it off, I should move some stuff off here. We'll shut it off. And we'll go here. Turn it on again. Let it work. Let it work its magic. So now ball in a cube ah there is and there isn't any error here so let's see what we have here if we go here extensions right we have our project here and we modify g code oh interesting you notice how we saved it it didn't save or it will add script again and the 3s1 pro and close you see we have a little error there which is fine you want to see that right um and then what we'll do is we'll quit the application hopefully it takes this time so we'll come back to everything that glitches okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to open up Curer again okay and what we're going to do is we're going to open up a recent file since we just opened it ball and cube stl and you see now we have this error there you know sometimes these things happen but don't be discouraged by it but as long as you see that you should be good to go uh, and now what we're going to do is we're going to slice it so we can save it to our desktop and then save the disk and we'll just call this one ball and cube all right ball and cube underscore two and then this way we know that that's the one all right and then what we're going to do is of course the other one's not going to work which is fine um, but by default that's what happens and then we'll just close this out. And then anytime now when you open up Cura, by default, you should see the, um, the, the, the error on the side. So let's say if I open up a different STL file, right? So if I open up, um, I could open, it doesn't matter which one you open up, you should still see this, see that? And then that brings you back here. And we know that the post-processing script finally took. Okay, but moving forward, now let's go here to our desktop, okay? And I'm just going to put the uh, SD card back into the computer. And once it shows up on the desktop, we're going to get rid of this one. Or actually, um, you can just leave it. It's, it's, actually, I'll delete it. Delete that. And wait for it. Okay, so here's the SD card right here. 
Where is it? Oh, there we are. All right, so now when you put it in, um, of course, nothing's loaded there. It'd be nice if they put it right there and somewhere on the side. All right, so here we go. Remember, it goes in upside down and put it in. Okay, so we have a couple of files there. Remember, um, this one was done in the Creality Slicer. So in Creality, you're always going to have black and white, okay? And then um, for rods, remember, the script didn't take yet. So this is what you'll see by default and until you know do what we just did okay and then if we go to balls number two balls in cube two voila see i like that it's in color too it's in yellow uh, and then we'll go back and then the regular ball in cube of course the script was loaded but there was a little glitch and that pretty much sums it up for um that voila and um you know, don't be discouraged if it doesn't work the first time, as you can see. Sometimes it might take one take or two takes, but as long as the um, script is inside the folder, and do not rename the um, the folder, I mean the name. Don't rename the folder and don't rename the file, uh, if that makes any sense. You just want to leave things as is. Um, so, where is it? Creality? Creality is right over here. So when we go here... Let me see, you'll always see that, so don't be discouraged. You say, oh no, there's an error. It's fine, just means the thumbnail is going to be created and the script is going to just work its magic. But what I really want to show you guys is the uh, show configuration folder, right? Scripts, don't rename that. Just leave it as is and, and, and you're good to go. Okay, and that pretty much sums up this part. Yeah, what's up? I brought yummy food. Okay, one second. Oh. All right. What, what happened? I was supposed to be upstairs and getting my pajamas. Oh, okay. But I wanted to hang out with you. <laughs> <laughs> She's supposed to be upstairs. She wanted to hang out with me. Anyway, cut and neat, huh? Um, what were we talking about again? Uh, oh, the, the um, 3D printer. The 3D printer. That, the like, thumbnail. one, two, three. Yeah. Like, that thing. Um, yeah, so anyway, kind of neat. Um, really... And this is great because you don't have to change the name of the files. You can leave them as is, and then you can just see the preview and know what it is you're going to print. Um, just as long as you don't have duplicates on there, because if you do some changes to it, I, it's probably better to rename it. Anyway, I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.